Let's get into this week's SI Golf Plus bonus topic. It's finally here, the U.S. Open at Chambers Bay, but there are still so many questions surrounding Tiger Woods and what our expectations for him will be. Michael, Gary, Joe, let's talk about it. What are your expectations for Tiger at the U.S. Open? Well, I think Tiger will grind it out because I think that's still his mentality, uh, even with all the difficult things going on in his golf game, and we don't know uh, what else is, go is going on with him. Uh, I think he'll make the cut, and I think he'll try his hardest, and I think he'll be uh, reasonably charming with uh, reporters and, and fans alike. But uh, to expect more than him to make the cut, given where he's been playing, is asking too much. Gary, I can't help but think that with the wide fairways at Chambers Bay, this might be Tiger's best chance to hit more than a couple fairways <laughs> in each round. I, I don't know. I saw him hit a couple drives at Memorial, and I don't know if they got fairways that wide. He, he hit one at seven that he thought was OB left as he hit a provisional. And the one he hit next was definitely was OB right. So I don't think they got fairways that big. But look, golf is a changing game, a game of adjustments, a game of fixes. Tigers, you know, personally got five or six swings through his coaches. He can switch something tomorrow and he'll he'll have an answer. I like the fact that he went there early and played two practice rounds. That tells me he is really fired up about playing in the open. And he'll have some answers by the time he gets there. I, I agree, I think. Look, this guy's a great iron player. He's always going to be able to hit his irons. It's just a question of whether he can get a tee, tee ball in play. And as you said, Chambers Bay, if he can't get a tee ball in play there, maybe it is time to retire. Joe, how much should we worry about what we saw at Memorial? I think it's a legitimate concern. I'm just not as concerned as many others. I look at Tiger. As Gary mentioned, he's put in the time. He's visited the course. I think he's excited about this opportunity. He has a tendency to rise to the big occasions. He shocked us at the Masters, coming back and performing as well as he did. So he loves proving people wrong. And in addition to the width at Chambers Bay, another factor people aren't talking about as much is it could very well be windy. He's invested in shot making. He loves when you have to do something, create something, invent something. And uh, I see his full set of skills being able to be presented at Chambers Bay. So. He's always been the greatest course manager and very imaginative. He hasn't been able to back it up in recent days, but I look for him to shine with all of those things going on at Chambers Bay. Gary, we saw Tiger walk away from the game after a, a bad 82 earlier this year saying, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna come back until I'm ready to compete. Do you think if he has another high number at Chambers Bay that we could see him kind of taking another hiatus maybe until maybe the PGA Championship. You know, anything is possible, but the one thing Tiger knows, he's playing for history, unlike the other guys. You know, I think his off season, I don't think it entailed a lot of practice, and I think he thought he was ready, and then when he came to Phoenix, he found out he wasn't, and that's different. As far as we know, he's practicing a lot. He certainly practiced a lot at Memorial. Is he practicing at home in Florida? I don't know, but he's, he's working hard to get ready, so I think he'll play out the majors at least before he you know, needs another break. Did you want to add to that, Michael? Well, I, I would totally agree with Gary. I mean, how could Tiger Woods not play British Open on the old course where he's won twice? 